In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to work with motion tweens. Motion tweens are different than classic tweens. Typically with a classic tween, you'll begin with a keyframe at the beginning and the end of where you want the motion to be. With a motion tween, you only start by placing a keyframe in the beginning. One thing they do have in common is that each the classic tween and the motion tween must be done on a symbol, not a shape. So I've drawn a circle on the stage and it and its line are selected. I'm going to convert that to a symbol, modify convert to symbol, F8. I'm going to call it GR Ball. And now I'm ready to create my motion tween. When you create a motion tween, you'll right click in the first frame where you want it to occur and you'll select Create Motion Tween. Automatically, you get enough keyframes to create one second worth of animation based on the number of frames per second. I have 24 frames per second. I was given four, 24 frames for movement. Well, I want this to actually have it bounce all the way across the stage with diminishing bounces. And so I can drag this out pretty much as long as I would like. You still have areas for keyframes, which you would insert with a F6, or you can insert a special keyframe for position, scale, skew, rotation, or all. F6 will work here as well. So I'm going to insert my keyframe, all, and if you look at it, it's a diamond instead of a circle, indicating that this is a motion tween, not a classic tween. At this point, I can move my ball on the stage, and I'm given a motion path, which I can add a little bit of a curve to just by selecting it. Now my ball should bounce up, but not quite as high, so I'm going to go out a ways, and I'm going to insert another keyframe. And I'm going to have my ball move up here, and it's also going to bounce just a little bit. Now you're getting motion back here because it appears like it, that it's going to return here because in the last keyframe it's still coming back to that point. Don't worry about it. We will fix that. Insert another keyframe. Move the ball down. Insert another keyframe. Move the ball up. And then in my final keyframe, I want to take it off the stage. So I, if I ran this right now by hitting Enter, it's going to get a little goofy here in my last bounce. So I can actually edit the points in the path smoothing this out and changing the motion without actually going back in and change, dragging the ball around to different places. I could be a lot more of a perfectionist about this, but it gives me a basic bouncing ball. And that's how you use the motion editor.